To get started with PDF3D in PowerPoint, first start PowerPoint normally, design or load an existing PowerPoint slide, which can have multiple slides, go to the slide where you'd like to add a 3D view, select the PDF3D tab on the top toolbar within the PDF3D group, select the icon, and a wizard starts up. So the first few questions here are first to browse to a sample PDF 3D file you'd like to show at this point in the slide presentation. We can set the size and placement of the view within the slide and then finish. So this has correctly been set up within the slide and we can see the gray area being shown as a box with the file name shown in the center. So when we go to the slideshow and show from the current slide, we will see that the view has the gray box inside with the PDF being shown live within the PDF, which is sitting inside the current slide within the presentation. To go to the next slide, simply click outside the view area to the background of the page, and then we can go up and down within our slide presentation to different frames, or go back to the previous slide. To set up a slide which only covers part of the view area in 3D, leaving the rest in text as we see in this design, then we can do something similar where we go to the PDF 3D tab, again run the wizard, select a file to be shown at this point, and this time in the placement we can say 50% and select on the middle left side of the slide. So this time you can see the gray box covers part of it and we still have the text showing on the right side. So going to the slideshow from this slide position, then our 3D view is shown in a smaller position on the slide and we can still read the text and see other parts of the slide as normal. So simply save the PowerPoint presentation and have the PDF files located in the same directory so that they're transportable and can be shared for other people for presentation purposes.